What's up, everybody? So everybody wants me to talk about the CM Punk two-hour interview. He said it wasn't going to be a shoot interview, but it kind of ended up being one a little bit. Ryback is now threatening CM Punk. CM Punk kind of called him out in that, not called him out, but I mean, uh, you know, called him to light in his uh, two-hour interview. Now the two exchanging words on Twitter and uh, Ryback deleting comments he wrote. I'm going to talk about what Ryback said, what CM Punk said, and we're going to get into this on the Joe Cronin Show. Stick around and we'll get wet, we'll get wild, and we'll get out of control in just a minute. The Joe Cronin Show is for mature audiences only. If you get offended by sexual comments, racial comments, or anything at all, or if you're just a big fat pussy, then please turn off this channel now or forever shut your mouth. I do a show about wrestling, I do a show about life, I do a show about video games, and if you don't like it, go the fuck somewhere else. Why do you get so angry at things, Joe? Why do you get so mad? I get so mad because I love things and I care about things so much and I believe the human potential is so great and we're wasting it, so I get angry. That's why I do it. I don't hate anybody. I love everybody and I hate everybody equally. I love sports. I love video games, I love life, and yet I hate it at the same time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start the show. This is the Joe Cronin Show. What's going on? What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing something. Hope you're doing someone. Wouldn't that be good? CM Punk goes on the Colt Cabana uh, podcast and uh, kind of lays it all on the line. And I want to take a minute. I want to take a minute to say this. I, I don't even know if I should because I feel like Part of me gets really pissed off. Uh, I, I I wish that I had never made that stupid video where I freaked out on Punk because I was just trying to I was trying to get his attention. I was trying to get a reaction out of everybody because we wanted to hear from CM Punk, and I thought doing that would would make that happen. Uh, when, that was the dumbest thing I could have done. It was a really dumb idea, and I should have known that it wouldn't have worked. And it was really just a stupid thing to do. Um, but anyway, CM Punk, if you're listening, uh, good on you, buddy. And um, Everything, uh, a lot of the things I said were because none of us got a story. None of us got an answer. And, and you know, Punk has every right to be like, I don't have to tell you shit. You know? Punk could say that. Fuck, I don't give a shit. I don't have to tell you anything. Punk can do that. And then we have the right to be psychopaths and want to know. And that's what I did. I took the psychopath route. But, hey, things happen. And uh, I wish it didn't go down that way. And I wish he hadn't blocked me on Twitter. And I wish we got to speak with him a little bit. Uh, maybe if I hadn't have been a douchebag, that would have happened. But uh, anyway, I got a lot of respect for him finally coming out and giving two hours to everybody that he didn't need to. Uh, doing it on a Cabana's show. It helps it, it helps Cabana's show. Helps Colt. So, I mean, you know, a lot of people talk about CM Punk could go to TNA and make it huge. CM Punk could go to UFC. CM Punk could do all these things. And yes, he could. But it's interesting that he actually chose his his best buddy show. Forget TNA. Forget exploding in TNA. Forget exploding here or there. How about this? I'm going to put your podcast on the map. Although, uh, you know what? In all in all respect to Cole Cabana, his podcast already was on the map, all right? My podcast is... I don't know if mine's on the map or not. You'd have to ask... I'd have to know how many uh, subscribers Cole Cabana has. I mean, I got 11,000. It's a small little show, really, in the in the big set of things on YouTube. It's a very small show that I have. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm not even close to Cabana's level at all. Not even close. So, but maybe he helped, he helped it big time and that's what his goal was in talking about all this stuff. Sure, I'll come on and talk to you about the facts. And in doing it, it's going to blow your shit up. 
Maybe that's the reasoning behind it. I don't know. But he did it, and it worked, and it was cool. He seemed honest, and you could see all the reasons why somebody would leave. Sometimes CM Punk comes across as a crybaby a little bit, but he also comes across as what I know if I was in the situation. First of all, right now, if I was in the situation of being in WWE, I don't care if my spine was broken. I'd probably want to go out there and be loving it. But if you were wrestling for years and the respect level, you expect more respect as you continue. And to get less of it and to get denied and to get lied to and just fucked around with, um, whether it's as bad as he says or not, will drive a, a wedge between you and whatever is going on. In a company, a friend, whatever, you name it. And that's what happened here with CM Punk, I think. And I love what he said most of this interview. The interview was wonderful. It was great. The only person he really cut into uh, was Ryback, for the most part. A little bit into Triple H. A little bit into Vince. But really, he went after Ryback. Was that because Ryback's the safe guy to go after? Because he's almost, you know, he's just beginning. He's a green guy in the business. I don't know. But um, I'll tell you what I know about Ryback. Ryback may entertains me when he's in the back like beating up little guys and saying stupid things when Ryback is saying dumb things that are so ridiculous sometimes it's ridiculous and it's hurtful and you shouldn't be even on TV but not with Ryback when Ryback does it it's so stupid it's funny I like that about Ryback but what I don't like about Ryback is uh, his previous wrestling history his previous wrestling ability he looks stiff in the ring doesn't look that good looks stiff and um, he's had some pretty big situations doesn't mean he can't get better. Doesn't mean I won't start to like him more. Hell no. And from what I what I thought about Ryback as a person, I don't know the person, so I got no business really talking about it. But I will say what I understand about Ryback as a person, he just seems to be like a fun, nice guy. I almost picture as him not the big bully, not the big muscly guy. I almost picture as him, him as, uh, you know, that guy's actually a really good guy. He looks like this big, uh, you know, workout psycho, but actually he's a real cool dude, a nice guy. But uh, everything CM Punk kind of says in this interview uh, detracts away from that. Kind of, uh, you know, um, cancels out those uh, those opinions. Uh, so I'm interested to know about that. And maybe Ryback is probably really interested in talking about that. Although now he, I don't think he can. I don't, I don't know. if I'm pretty sure WWE doesn't want him saying anything. Uh, so I, I don't know how much you're really going to get. He already deleted a bunch of stuff that, uh, you know, he wanted. Um, I don't know what someone just wrote me about Roman Reigns, um, but I'm going to have to read that in a minute. I mean, not Roman Reigns, but Seth Rollins. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's real news or someone's just joking around. I have no idea. But uh, let me go to Ryback's Twitter. I wonder what he's saying now. So this is what you can see the, the Twitter posting here You know that I put up. The big guy, Ryback. Uh, by the way, has a million followers on Twitter. Holy shite. He wrote, Last message on this. I will tell the truth about CM Punk comments in due time. Not once did he ever confront me. Let's all move on. Thank you. The big guy. The dumb guy. Ryback, I love... I I, uh, I actually love your personality, buddy, I think. And, um, I don't know about the big guy. I don't know if I'll ever like that. I have no idea. I wish, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens with Ryback. Maybe Ryback can come on our show. Come on on, Ry Ryback, you know. Let us know what you think about CM Punk. We'll talk about it. We'll do We'll do uh, what Colt Cabana did with CM Punk. We'll do with you, Ryback. This is my invitation to the show, uh, the Joe Cronin Show. 11,000 subscribers almost. Over 4 million views on YouTube. Ryback, I am officially asking you and inviting you onto the show. If you want to talk about what CM Punk said, we won't get crazy on anything. You know, we'll take it easy. Uh, you know, here's your outlet. Come on the show. Let us know what is going on uh, with CM Punk. Did you break his rib? Did you break CM Punk's rib? Never mind did he confront you on anything. Did you break his rib? Was he upset at you? I, What I got out of the interview is that, that CM Punk, you know, Kind of, you know, he got kicked in the ribs and he said, even though he was mad because it figures I got kicked in the ribs, he kind of didn't say anything and walked away. And I think C and I think CM Punk took a lot of shots, according to his interview, in which he just kind of brushed it off and said, I'm okay, fine, whatever. And then, But th then he blew up. That was it. 
where I think if CM Punk had confronted people, he might not have blown up and left. But it sounds like he was always confronting people because that's his personality. And Colt Cabana would say, oh, no, CM Punk is in people's faces like you wouldn't believe. He probably confronted people too much. So it's all such a hard thing to really break down and understand and figure out. And that's where I'm at with the situation between him and Ryback. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And I wish I could find the excerpt right off the bat of Ryback. Right now, mazel tov to them. Uh, treading water. They're just... Who cares? How many how many times are these guys going to turn? Seen it. Go Ooh, listen to there. CM Punk's interview on Coca Cabana, by the way. I got my, my fucking my time off. A Jericho, time I enough. Time. Yeah, you got to write things the third time when people are stupid. I, I can't um, I can't talk right now. Hold on. I have to finish this video. I'm almost done. All right. So um, anyway, I better get off here before everything gets ruined. Um, so Coca Cabana, CM Punk, listen to the interview. Have you listened to the interview? It's two hours long. Listen to it if you haven't. Come back here. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Ryback. What you think of CM Punk. Do you understand the situation now? Are you more mad at WWE? Should there be more CM Punk chance? Even though it's uh, it seems like it's uh, you know he got fired, he got ignored, he got pissed off, he quit. He doesn't want to come back. WWE doesn't seem to want him to come back. Although they appear to be more butthurt about it, and fans continue to sort of chant CM Punk. And now he might have pissed off the big guy. What do you think? Leave in the comments below. Click the like button. Subscribe. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.